Ooh. Yeah, it's actually more than a two-pointer. Holy oh, crap, that was definitely a blowout. What's up, guys? And welcome back to another epic versus. And this video, we got the return of the Infident Forbidden going against the previous set prior to it. Battles of Legends, Terminal Revenge. I'm kind of dubbing it almost like a Blue Eyes versus Exodia, but uh, obviously if you've seen episode one, you know that Exodia wins. The unstoppable Exodia. Uh, impossible. Ah! Spoiler alert, but uh, you know, obviously you guys already knew that. But yes, what are some high value pulls? What should we care about at least for these two packs? Starting with Battles of Legend, Terminal Revenge, the high value pulls is of course number one, still holding strong at Dragon Master Magia, currently at $540.16. Now granted, I see this as high as $700, $800, I believe, maybe even a thousand, but it's got down to a more realistic value, but it's still pretty high up there. The second highest, of course, is the Phantom of Ubel, quarter century, of course, at $208.67. The third highest, which I did pull from a previous video, is the Sky Dragon Ace Ray. Alternative art, at $142.76. Of course, those dropped in value, if you guys should call, but they're still holding strong at those six pointers, which I'll talk about in a little bit. Going into the Infinite Forbidden, the highest value card is that Fiendship Engraver, still holding strong at number one at $260.67. So over $200 mark. The second highest, of course, is Merle Charmy Purilia, current holding at $149.95. And the third highest is a new entry that uh, I'm, I'm looking at right now from the previous recording, anyway, is. Um, a Stellar of the White Forest, $103.42. So yes, those cards are still holding strong. So this actually might be a pretty decent versus if we pull those quarter centuries. But yeah, who knows? Who knows what we'll get in this epic versus. For those that have watched the previous versus, the point system is as follows. If it breaks the $1 mark, that is one point. If it breaks the $5 mark, that's two points. If it breaks the $10 mark, that's three points. $20 is four points. $50 is five points, and the coveted six pointer is breaking $100 plus. And we have, like I said before, we have quite a few that do break that $100 mark. But yeah, guys, I think these two boxes over here is actually a pretty good versus, so we'll see how this goes. But yeah, let's do this. Now, I believe there's 12 packs to 12 packs, so it should be pretty, pretty uh, identical. The only thing that's different, of course, is this one only has five cards, whereas the affiliate. Uh, Forbidden has nine cards, but of course, they have uh, commons in here. So, but it's still 12 packs to 12. All right. And if I can finally clear out a little bit of my storage as well. All right, let's do this thing. Let's start with Terminal Revenge. Let's do this. I think it's just two to the front. Starting, while, starting out with the... Uh, Infernoid um, Onuchu, and then the Sprite Red, the Life Hack, and oh sorry, that, there's another, one, there's another one there. The R uh, Gen Gen X Udine, and of course the Secret Rare of the Void Vanishment. I think this is only the only high value card here, so we'll go ahead and price this one. The Void does it even break a dollar? So yeah, this card is only. 52 cents so no points no points now i know with five cards and nine cards i will try to put like a, a handicap if you will on battle of legends but a few people didn't like that and also two like i don't think it needs it i really don't think it needs it all right infinite let's see what you can do right here right now all right four to the front that's all right there all right we got Brumi. The Guardians of the Voiceless Voice. The uh, Giant, uh, sorry, Giant. The Giant Light and Darkness. The Zapper Shrimp. The Woes of the White Forest. The Dip Sea Fiend. The Fiend Ship uh, Lycrima. The Service Puppet Play. And a super rare only of the 
fiendship um, desirable. Or Desiree, maybe. Yeah, the, the Desiree. All right, probably not much at all. As expected, only 17 cents for this one. So no points for either. Or either, depending on your perspective on that pronunciation. <laughs> I kind of like saying either sometimes. I know that's the, I think that's the British way of saying it. And um, obviously for those that don't know, I used to be, I used to live in the UK. I, I lived there for about four years. And um, I learned some of the dialect there, like lever and lever and, you know, uh, aluminum and aluminium, all that good stuff. But uh, it was a good time there. It was a good time. Ritual Beast Ambush. The Branded Sword. The White Circle Reef. The Bunch of the Beast Bodies. And Secret Rare of the Georgius Swordsman of the Ice Barrier. Maybe that's points. Maybe. It's only 57 cents, so no points for either. I was hoping to be a little more competitive versus here, but uh, I guess we're, we're starting slow. We're starting slow. But it's fine. I think the reason why I chose this is, of course, like the, I, I just, uh, it's, the, it's the two most recent uh, packs and obviously uh, the Blue Eyes versus Exodia, uh, or kind of Blue Eyes and kind of Exodia versus, but yeah. If you got a bit of versus, let me know in the comments. All right, we have, what is this? The Volmina st Statue of the Sacred Dragon. The Madoche Mini Meow Caroons. The Drytron New the Second. The Nicroquip Princess Manoche uh, Dessert. Fiendship Sequence. It's Fien Fien Smith's Sequence. Aerial Eater. The League of the Uniform Nomenclature Strikes. And a super rare only. Um, it is the first time I ever saw this one. Uh, CXYZ <laughs> gimmick puppet uh fancy fantatrix fanatrix machinix I guess yep it is 19 cents for this one so yeah no points for either side who's gonna make the first point here will it be battle legends now the one thing I will say like uh when I used to live in the UK like um you know obviously I was, I was prior military so that's the reason why I was out there um and then, uh, but I did try to travel as much as I can, um, but it's kind of expensive, like, especially when you don't have the uh, don't have a lot of money there. Um, Infernoid, okay. The Hexa Spirit of the Icy Barrier, Sacrifice Level Up, uh, Sinjin Jin, and a full armored Utopia Ray Lancer. But I did enjoy my time there. The only thing I'll, I'll complain about in the UK is uh, is the weather. The weather, of course, there was pretty crappy. Pretty crappy. I think Matter is actually from the UK, so uh, uh, he can testify on, on that. Are you enjoying the weather there, mate? What? Are you enjoying the weather there? Yeah, we're enjoying it. Am I not allowed? Yeah, yeah, but you're, yeah, but you're in the bin. No, no, I'm, I'm not trying to stop you. I'm just saying you're in the bin. Right, if you want to fight about it, be a man, come out and fight about it. What? This is not bad. If I want to have a, a swim in my own bin on the hottest day that we've ever had in England, then I'm entitled to do so. This one is only 23 cents. So yes, no points for either side. Wow, that's pretty sad. It's pretty sad. All right, come on guys, come on. Let's get some points up in here. Do it for the algorithm. We got the gimmick puppet little soldiers, the mansion of the dreadful dolls, the Trap Gatherers, uh, the Hina Matsuri, the Gimmick Puppet Rogue Doll, the Benton Bat, uh, the Celine Snapper, the uh, Maiden of the Millennium Moon, and a super rare again only of the Mini Ghoul Maker. Wow, no points, I bet. This one is only 37 cents. What if it's the end of, end of the, it's a tie? Zero to zero. <laughs> That'd be really sad. That'd be really sad. I might not even upload the video. I'm like, actually, I'll, I'll probably still will, but I'll be just like really shocked if you end up getting zero points for for this long. We It's already been like, I think we're four packs in maybe? And we still haven't got anything. 
All right, we got the Gen X Ally Axle. It was a cool, cool design there. Infernoid uh, Sesamus, I guess. Um, arbitration or arbitration of white. The white circle reef and a void imagination. Pure imagination. Yep, yeah, it is only 21 cents. It's still a pretty good set to get though. Like, and, and I'm kind of glad we're thinking now because uh, I could finally uh, complete more of my collection. Even though like this, this is actually you know four points and whatnot. I still want to, as a collector, I still want to collect everything. Um, even even the common cards, even the common cards. We have the uh, the knight armored dragon, the armored a knight dragon. See, why why does Yu-Gi-Oh do this? Like, it's already a arm armed dragon. Why are you gonna mention? I don't know. Whatever. The light and uh, stimulation machine, machine and dragon, the the cosmic tree, the Doradora, the golem that guards the Millennium Treasures, uh, Meteora Drytron, Cosmic Queen of Queen, <laughs> the paralyzing mushroom, and a super rare own of the fires of rage, Exodia. Oh, this is one of the um, Exodia cards. Or at least exotic support cards. I kind of want to read this real quick. This card is always treated as a um, exod, I guess, and obliterate a card. If you control a level ten or higher exodia monster, destroy all cards your opponent controls. Wow. If this card is in your graveyard, except the turn it was sent there, you can banish it and activates one of these effects. Either a, add one forbidden uh, one monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Or two, shuffle up to five uh, for Forbidden One monsters from your graveyard or banishment into the deck. Uh, you can only use one of the effects. Wow. So that's, that's a very good support card for getting Exodia, the Forbidden One. But let's see the price. All right. This was only 20 cents, so 20 cents. Again, no points. All right. We have the Spring Gamma Burst, the Freezing Chains of the Ice Barrier, the Argenex. Turing, the Void uh, uh, Regnation, and the Ice Jade uh, Grimer, Grimer, I guess, <laughs> are Greedmints, I guess, I don't know, but it looks cool. I can't pronounce for the, the monster card for, for shit, but whatever. Maybe this is points. No, it does not. It is only 43 cents. Holy crap, guys. This is actually kind of fascinating. Like, how long can you keep it with no points? And hope you guys stick around as well, because like, it might be a turnaround later on, or maybe we will, we will be the first ever versus, but like just having no points. That'd be insane, though. The the Vesper, the Dark and ev Evaporation Dragon, Blazing Bombardment Abyss. That's ten. The Interdimensional uh, Matter Forwarder, the Press Pard, Momentalan Sibli, the Woes of the White Forest, and a super rare only of the Magic Coladol Soul, I guess? <laughs> Definitely no points. I, I, I could always guarantee it. 12 cents. But it, it's a new card to my collection, I guess. You know? All right, I think we're like halfway through, guys. <laughs> Holy jeez. <laughs> With no points on either side. But I hope you guys are still enjoying the uh, the pack opening regardless. We have the Orcus Harp Horror, the Ritual Beast Ambush, Division, Aber uh, Aberration of Light, and a Secret of the Infernoid Detectron. And I could have sworn this is probably not points either. As expected, 26 cents. I think it was a little bit higher before, but I don't think it even broke a dollar when it first came out. All right. Infinite Forbidden. Can we get something good? Something to make this versus that much more exciting. And honestly, these sets are not that bad. Like, like a lot of the cards from both sets are actually really, 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 really good. So I'm kind of I'm, I'm kind of sad that we're not getting anything cool. The Sh Sylvie, the three and one, D DPH, the Rukia, Rusia of the White Forest, Gimmick Puppet, uh, ch uh, uh, Cattle Scream, Salvation, and finally something cool, an ultra rare. Uh, let's see if I can pronounce this one. Uh, 
Rasilla. I think that's right. It's something like Rasilla. Sinfer Souls of the White Forest. And this one actually might break a dollar. Wow. <laughs> 62 cents. Oh my god. The streak continued, guys. The streak is continuing. And that's what an ultra rare. Wow. Damn. Damn. I guess as a collector, is that very good? But definitely, I think, I think as a duelist, um, there's some good like potential meta cards you can use and whatnot. But as a, as a collector, I guess not much. At least right now. It maybe will go up in value like years down the road, but you just never know with these kind of cards. We got the Ritual Beast, um, Ulti, uh, Kim, Kim Mu Falcos, I guess. The sprite uh, pixies, uh, pixels, pix, pixies, pixel, pi pixie, yeah, that one. The uh, electrode uh, beast, the pillar of the future, and a super rare ritual beast, uh, ulti ray raltari. Looks very cool though. I, I like the way it looks. I like, I like honestly, I, I really like the way secrets look. I, I don't know if you guys agree with me or not on that one, but um, obviously it's a classic design. Um, now we have all these like fancy ones like quarter centuries and starlight rares and ghost rares are still cool though like, i think like this one and ghost rares are, like my top two as well as ult ultimate ultimate rares ultis which of the three is my favorite though let's still find out after i get this price this one is only 19 cents so the streak continues <laughs> fantastic yeah but if I, if I decide like what my favorite rarity of all time was um, I think it will have to be ultimate rares, I think. I think those are my, my favorites. S second would be um, ghost rares. And then third, maybe starlight rares. And then quarter centuries. T but t technically, technically starlight rares are, are like quarter centuries, except it's much more harder to read the the, the font there sometimes. Uh, okay, we saw that one already. The Cosmic Tree. Guarding the Voices Voice. Dark N. Fiend Reflection. This uh, fiend ship, uh, fiend smith's sench, uh, the golem that protects. Oh, the service puppet uh, plate and a super rare only of the maybe ghoul room. So this is a di actually a different card, but I don't think it was worth anything either, especially for a super. All right, this one is twenty two cents. So what an epic versus, guys! Right? <laughs> this actually might fall into a tie. What? Like we're like we're like almost done and still no points for either side that's insanity insanity i was thinking it's going to be a little more competitive than this but i guess not i guess not oh well the the, the the just the pleasure of opening packs is good enough for me i guess and hope you guys are enjoying it nonetheless you get the rude kaiser i'm just kidding the uh knight armed dragon the armored knight and dragon Light and uh, dragon. This, this shrimp makes a return. That's ten. This uh, service puppet. Salvation maiden. Oops. I always do that. It like kind of sticks together sometimes. The Celine snapper and a super rare only of the heretical heretical the heretical provost Kovos, I guess. All right. Streak streak is a uh, contain at seventeen cents. Wow, this is insanity, guys. If for some reason I, I like I pull all my cards and I still don't get a winner from this, I, ha I have to do a rematch, right? I, I have to. We need a definitive winner between these two packs. But I guess from your opinion down below, let me know. Like, do you guys which, which do you, which do you like of these two sets? Do you like the Magia card? Or do you not even care about the Magia card? Or the U Bell maybe or Charmy car. I'm not sure anybody cares about that. Um, or the Fish Engraver. Like, like what do, you, what do you guys think about that? Like, what's your favorites? Let me know in the comments down below. We have the Gen X uh, Allied Dura Dark, Infernoid Atondel, the Toy Tank, Electroid Beast, and a Proxy F Magician. I don't think this is worth points either. <laughs> God damn it. Night four. This one is 30 cents. Holy jeez, guys. This is like, like the losing streak of, of these sets right now. It's insanity. Right, we're getting to like the, the, the final four. And usually, usually there's something, at least one card 
that's good in the final fours of, um, of the of the packs. All right, the Dragon's Light and Darkness, the Moon of the Close, Drytron New the Second, the Princess, the Paralyzing Mushroom, Cosmic Queen, Memento Sleepy, Interdimensional Matter Forwarder. Ooh, a secret rare. Ooh, okay. This actually might be points, especially for a uh, for this set. L L L set L set, I guess, of the White Force. So yeah, let's check out that one right there. Ooh, yeah, it's actually more than a two pointer. Holy oh, crap! This is eighteen dollars and ninety two cents. So that is actually a three pointer. Wow. Okay. Good job, good job, Infinite Forbidden. But yeah guys, even though there's no sponsor for today's video, I definitely gotta, you know, give a shout out to these sleeves, these dragon sleeves for this particular amazing card. But yeah guys, definitely protect your investments. Protect those investments. Our first score of the game. <laughs> Three to zero. That might be game guys, that might be game. So, but let's see if Battle of Legends can, uh, maybe we'll get, maybe we'll pull Magia. You know, give it that six pointer. And as I mentioned, it's always the bottom four. It's always the bottom four, I notice. All right. The Spiritual Beast uh, Tamer Winda. The scra uh, Scrap Goblin. The Vision. The Frozen uh, Domain of the Ice Barrier. And the Ice Jade Ran Algirin. Did we pull this one already? No, I, I, no, no, maybe not. All right, close but not close enough. Seventy-one cents, and no handicaps. No handicaps. No petty points. None of that. All right, we have Dark Yen again. Dora Dora, guarding the voice's voice. Bar Barbaric Beast. Bar Bar Barbarian. <laughs> Whatever. The Millennium Treasure Guardian. The League of the Uniform. The Fiend Reflection. The uh, Fiendship Saints and a super rare of the Beware of the White Fiendess. Alright, this one is 17 cents. So retaining that no point system. Yeah, as I'm thinking about like the UK and whatnot, I do like want to go back there. Or at least kind of like visit it again. But if I do visit it, like I, I might go to like, you know, all the parts. Because I, I just, you, you just kind of go to like the usual prospects like London, um, Cambridge. Um, what else is there? Uh, uh, Barry said Edmund. Uh, that, that was a big one that, that I can recall going to. Um, but yeah, but I don't know. If there's any uh, spots you recommend? That, that, yeah, let me know in the comments. That, that maybe I visit that location in the future. All right, we have the Canahawk, uh, the Infernoid, Petrulia, Petrulia, Earthbound uh, 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 Residence, the Toy Soldier, and the Armed of Gen X return zero. Again, it looks cool. It looks very cool, but is it cool enough for points? Indeed, it is not. That is uh, 23 cents. Wow, can Battle of Legends even get a point in this game? Wow. Suspense continues, guys. The suspense continues. Does Infinite Forbidden just automatically win because it's Exodia? I mean, that'd be kind of funny. Like, Exodia versus, you know, Blue Eyes, and of course, Exodia just automatically wins. But let's see. The Mansion of the Dreadful Dolls. Valmonica Creation. The uh, Hina Mat Matsuturu. The Bat and Bat. Rusia. Madoche. Fiend Ship. Fiend Smiths. And a Fiend Smiths in Paradise. All right. Lowest car right here. I think nine cents. Insanity. All right. I think I got one more pack for Infinite right here, and I got two packs here for the Battles of Legends. I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open up this final pack, and then I'm going to open these two, and see if Battle of Legends can even get a, a single point. I got just one point, one point, breaking one dollar. Like, you would think it, it won't be that hard to break a dollar, but I don't know. Battle of Legends has been like, uh, it's one of those like sets, as I mentioned in, in, during the opening of that, where it's like, give or take like sometimes there's like a lot of winners in there but for for most part it's a lot of losers in Battle of legends at least the uh the, the whole overall set the trap gatherer all right the secret dragon valmoga creation gimmick puppet rogue doll 
the fiend ship sequence i keep saying the fiend smiths fiend ship but yeah fiend smiths the gimmick puppet the aerial eater and a ultra rare so the mimic mimic ghoul dungeon i wonder if this ultra rare would be worth anything actually it does it does guys six dollars and sixty cents so that is a two-pointer for infinite wow five to zero and it would be hilarious if if they win five zero because there's five exotic pieces so that'd be hilarious all right two packs guys left over if you guys want this set to win press a like for luck but so far not too good not too good not 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 great show the only way this set will win guys the only way this set will win is a six pointer and it's three cards that they could potentially be a six pointer but it has to be a quarter century secret rare uh borox the medallion of the ice barrier the uh, electrode a blaster gen x ally a birdman and a super rare thing yeah, I think we got this one. Is it a, a duplicate secret? It's kind of annoying. All right, 43 cents. So again, no points for Battles of Legend. All right, final pack. Is this a Magia card? Like, well, like, let, let, let's see, let's see. Let, let's see what they need. All right, we have a few potential cards that uh, they need. It needs to bring $100, of course. It can be Lubellion, this uh, Spearing Dragon, quarter century, a Sky Striker Ace Ray, um, a Phantom of Lubel, or the Dragon Master Magia. Now, granted, guys, when I opened this pack the first time, I did pull a quarter century. So that would have been hella useful in this versus. But since I pulled it already, the chance of you getting a second quarter century rare in the same booster box, oh man. That's not, that's not the, the only all the option is maybe a, a five pointer to tie it up, but I don't like ties. I hate ties. All right, enough drama, guys. Enough drama. Let's just get into it. Suspense is killing Exodia. I'm, I'm just kidding. The, the Scrape Goblin, Gen X Ally, Birdman, the Toy Tank, the Guard Dog, and a super, a secret rare only, Ritual Beast. It's probably there's probably no points guys wow wow guys that, that that's definitive right there that's definitive 17 cents so yes exodia obliterate exodia uh, it's not possible <laughs> oh my god five to zero infinite forbidden steals it steals it now as i mentioned before i did pull a quarter century from that box that i might have like hurt his chance of winning in this versus so i'm definitely down to do another versus featuring battle of legends yet again but a full box and you know shuffle to them because like sometimes what i feel like it happens sometimes they purposely put a like a super expensive card in that booster box and all the other cards are shit like it's like statistically that's how they they do it it's very hard or very rare i should say that you pull two or three good cards from the same i mean you it's the chance of it is possible sure but yeah very very rare but nevertheless guys that was definitely a blowout infinite forbidden wins it with five to zero if you have a better versus of featuring this set uh with another set perhaps or if you want to do a rematch so leave those suggestions down below but if you can't get enough of versus definitely check out this video right over here which is ots 25 and ots 22 real versus fake cards potentially fake cards i don't know you guys can let me know in the comments of that video but love you guys my name is talos and i'll see you next time peace